So, like many people have complained about, it just will not go up and it will not go down. I tried compressed air, no luck, so we're gonna take this apart. There's a YouTuber I'll link down below who does a really good job explaining the disassembly. Um, but yeah, I mean, one screw there, one screw there, and there's the sticky pads there. So I was only gonna take out the keys to get to the necessary screws, but yeah, I, I might as well just take everything out and clean it. Here's a freeze frame of the, um, the screw layout on both sides. Even in here, it's dirty. So go ahead and remove that. I mean, self-explanatory, don't pull from the cord, but the little white piece in here, and uh, it will be easier to get access to. I got no idea if this will even come apart, so I'm gonna remove this first. It is, yep, the sides. Push up on the sides, and then it just, whoop. And then I'm gonna just unscrew these two here, and let's see what happens. Getting there, so I'm going to remove these silver screws, get the smaller screw bit, got the eye fix it. If I broke this, I it never worked to begin with, so I just literally pushed this out from where is it? This thing. Just boop. So I'm gonna see if I can pry in here. Hang on. New strategy, I'm removing this silver thingy to see if I can pop the whole thingy out. Looking like that Tony Stark arc thingy. So yeah, I have no idea if I just broke it or not, but um, what I was reading was that apparently there's this like substance, you could see there's a lot of oil there, and I think that might be what's causing the, it's not registering rotation for some reason. So let me see if I can get some Q-tips and clean that up. Yeah, you can kind of see it. There's a lot of oil on there. That might be what's wrong, what's going on. And it, you just don't get. Everyone was saying, oh, use compressed air. Boom, boom. It didn't work. So let's see. So I used a Q-tip and some vinegar because I didn't have any out, um, isopropyl alcohol. I mean, I might have broken it. I don't know, but it does look cleaner before. So maybe there just was like caked on crust and the contacts were not detecting. Either that or these springs are just not high enough. I don't know. It's like there's an issue with the Logitech mice that have this problem with spring-loaded crap. So let's just put it together and see how it works. So this will go on top like so. Like that. And it does kind of rotate still, so that's good. Um, and then this flashy metal piece will go on top of it. So follow the same format as before, boop. So to put this, that back into here, you see the four notches, this one on the top right there. You're gonna align that and I guess push it down and let's see. If it's not even like so, you just gotta make sure that all four are snapped in, all four sides. So easy to happen, or maybe I just broke something, I don't know. Then proceed from there. If you do this, have a lot of patience. I think I broke it because I was just fiddling it for like 30 minutes trying to get this to be even on all sides. So, but whatever. And uh, yeah, so now we're going to put it back here and put this little plastic thing like so. All right, so I'm impatient and I really want to see if this worked. <laughs> it works. It's very, it's very stiff though. So it's not like fully smooth on what I did before. So I think I must have taken out like some lubricant or something, but listen, I'm at least it works. I mean, and I, I get it. I could have, I could have, um, RMA this thing when I saw the chance, I, I thought I could just live without it, but you know, I figured it's a volume knob. Why not try and get it to work? So boom. I'm surprised there's no video on this too. So let me know if you guys have questions. Um, do it at your own risk because honestly, I could have just broken this. But uh, yeah, let me know.